Well, news just coming in. Congress leaders are holding protest outside Railways Minister Sadanand Gowda's residence in Delhi, alleging announcements like bullet train and other public-private partnership projects that railways have been made to provide benefits to the private companies. Congress leader holding protest outside the Railway Minister's residence. In fact, one of the leaders, Mukesh Sharma, even removed Rail Minister Sadanand Gowda's nameplate and stepped on it. Well, Asha Khan is joining us on the phone line with the latest. Uh, Asha, what exactly are the Congress leaders protesting against? Uh, this is a, a budget in which there is no new initiative by the government and it is out there to promote and uh, benefit a certain section of the industrial uh, society in this country rather than to benefit the entire nation at large. In fact, we saw the Congress vice president also saying that uh, there is uh, the budget is not good. After which we saw that the Delhi Pradesh Congress Committee swung into action. They get out the house of the railway minister and did not allow him to enter when he was coming home from uh, Rail Bhavan. On the other hand, uh, Mukesh Sharma, who is the spokesperson of the DPCC, took out the nameplate of uh, Sadaran Gora and stepped on it. So clearly, uh, though uh, the DPCC chief uh, Arvinder Singh Lavdi has said that it was wrong to take out the number uh, to take out the nameplate. But yes, uh, more action being shown by the DPCC here in Delhi. In fact, in the last couple of days, we've seen that uh, there have been a lot of protests which uh, the DPCC is doing mostly about uh, rise in prices, rise in fare hikes and all, all these uh, issues related to fare hikes. Right, Asha, just stay on with us. We also have BJP Sudhanshu Mittal now joining us on the phone line. Mr. Mittal, how would you respond to these protests that the Congress Party is holding outside uh, the Railways Minister residence? They are saying that some of these projects that have been announced, including Prime Minister's pet project of bullet train and the public-private partnership, these projects will only benefit some of the private companies. See, to protest is a democratic right of any political party. I do not guess that. But I am very saddened by the conduct, taking out the nameplate uh, name and stepping over it shows what kind of political culture Congress is going to manifest. I can understand the frustration but I thought the mandate of people would have been respected by the Congress. The fact that they have been brought down from 208 seats to 40 odd seats should have been an eye opener. There has to be constructive politics growth and continuity are two things which this budget clearly reflects there were projects of the congress you see we must understand that government is a continuous process government is not right so that was a quick reaction from arvinder singh lovely of the congress party he's the delhi uh, pradesh congress committee chief he has in fact termed the manner in which this protest was carried out by some of the congress workers as incorrect you can see one of the congress workers there who uh, who in fact stepped on that nameplate of uh, mr sadanand gaura the railways minister as the congress party was holding protest outside his residence all right, we'll come back to the big points being raised by the Congress. But for the moment, let's focus on the budget and the announcements that have been made. Improving services, improving finances, that remain the single-minded focus of the government's first rail budget. While the government pushed for private investment and PPP model to fund development, the minister pushed for 360-degree revamp of passenger services in railways. The rail budget was sans any populist pitch with thrust and security, cleanliness and even linking fuel prices and ticket prices. Let's in fact once again take you through the big ticket announcements that were made by the Railways Minister as he'll be seeking cabinet approval for FDI in railways. That's the big one coming out of the budget speech of the Railways Minister. Also future projects will be funded by a public-private partnership model. Tariff hike will be linked to fuel prices. Narendra Modi government wants railways to become the largest freight carrier. There will be lifts and escalators at all big stations. Scope of online booking to be expanded. Passengers will be able to pick coach and seat. CCTVs will monitor cleanliness in train stations. And cleaning responsibility at 50 stations will in fact be outsourced by the railways. You will also get pre-cooked uh, ready-to-eat meals from known brands in the trains. Booking facility at post office will also be popularized. 
Government has also said to hire some 17,000 RPF personnel and 4,000 women RPF personnel. Government will encourage corporates to adopt stations. And yes, the first bullet train will run in between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Also, there will be high-speed trains on nine other routes, including Delhi, Agra, among others that will uh, get semi-bullet trains. And let's, in fact, get a status check from passengers. Uh, joining us is uh, my colleague Manu Galoyval. She's joining us from Kolkata. Also, Pratibha Raman is joining us from Hyderabad. And they will be speaking to people to get a sense of how this budget uh, has been received. Uh, over to you, Manu There has been, of course, a critical response from Mamta Banerjee's party who said, we will not accept FDI in railways. <laughs> Well, absolutely, Mamta Banerjee has been opposed to it and this time again we've seen that on Facebook she's written that she's, that West Bengal has been humiliated by the budget this time. Let's talk to a few people on what do they think about it. We, the number of people we've been speaking to have been extremely disappointed with the fact that Bengal did not get a single train this time because they've been used to bonanzas and of course special offers always, be it workshop, be it special wagon workshops or be it the special trains that have always been gifted to Bengal when the Trinamool Congress held the portfolio. Let's talk to a few people. How much is it difficult? Because this time Bengal didn't get a train. You were telling me that it was very difficult this time. Yes. We all met here in Bengal. 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 खुशियाँ लाएगी किंतु खुशियाँ के साथ साथ तो यहाँ पर कोई सुविधा नहीं रेल बजट से तो पता चल गया कि सरकार कितना खुशी देगी हम आम पब्लिक को रेल बजट में भारा बढ़ गया दिल्ली पसंदीदा जो हम लोग आने जाने वाले हैं लोकल ट्रेन का उसका भी भारा बढ़ गया हम लोग आशा किए थे कि पश्चिम बंगाल में कुछ नई ट्रेनिंग होगी उसको भी नहीं दिया गया आशा किए थे कि पश्चिम बंगाल हावड़ा इलाका में जहाँ पर अभी हावड़ा स्टेशन हम लोग खड़े हैं यहाँ से मेट्रो रेल का प्रकल्प राजनीति के कारण बंद कर दिया गया हम लोग सोचे थे नई सरकार आने से Absolutely, it's very interesting to see that West Bengal has given two BJP seats to parliamentarians. They are two representatives from BJP, but none of the trains have been gifted this time. Perhaps one more reason for the state to go and think over the disappointment that we've seen over it. Right, and let's also go across to Pratibha Raman to get a sense of what people are saying about the first railway budget of Narendra Modi government. Pratibha, over to you. Well, in Hyderabad, it's been a mixed reaction of sorts. There is one side of them telling them that uh, this could be, this could bring in some kind of a hope, but then there's another side that tells them that this could perhaps just remain a dream, like every other government that has promised them uh, a whole lot of uh, facilities, as well as security, as well as uh, uh, different other improvement in the railway system. Will this remain a dream or not? I have with me some passengers here. In fact, we are sitting in the Vijayawada Karnul Express. Do you think that this railway budget की जो सवाल उठता है आपको डेर सारे सुविधा की प्रॉमिसेस है इसमें आपको लगता है कि आपकी कुछ उम्मीद है इसका मोदी सरकार का जी हाँ हमें बहुत उम्मीद है मोदी सरकार से क्योंकि अभी आज से लगभग तीन या चार साल पहले जब हम सफर करते थे तो हमें बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम झेलनी पड़ती थी स्टेशन में जैसे कि हमारे पास ए की उस समय स्टेशन में सुविधा नहीं थी कि ए से हम टिकट ले सकते उस समय हमें अगर प्रॉब्लम रह जाती पैसे की कि हमारे पास पैसे नहीं है तो फिर हमें बहुत सारी परेशानियों का सामना करना पड़ता था लेकिन अभी जब हमने यहाँ देखा कि यहाँ पर एटीएम की सुविधा है तो हमें कोई भी परेशानी झेलनी नहीं पड़ती अगर हमारे पास चेंज की भी प्रॉब्लम हो रही है तो हम डायरेक्ट एटीएम से टिकट ले सकते हैं so uh, he is of the opinion that we have seen some kind of improvement uh, in the last few years and he hopes that even Modi Sarkar will actually uh, uh, turn all those dreams of promises into reality very soon. Back to you.